Hello and welcome once again to the Think Alike tutorial. This is tutorial 13, and so we've had tutorials 1, 2, 3 to 13. Wow, it's getting quite interesting. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create attendance, how to add attendance, how to view the attendance of attendance profiles of students of the class, and perhaps of even of the old school. It's a wonderful module you're going to be looking at here. But very quickly before I go ahead at all first let me log out and log in into the account I have been using which is the demo account called Galaxy okay the very first thing I'm going to show you is that before you deal with attendance at all as the admin the admin would only would be the only person that can have this privilege I suppose head on to settings settings can you see it settings here head on to settings and uh, click on general settings general settings now the first thing the admin should do is to head on to the portion where you have default attendance default attendance and there are two kinds of default attendance that think alike has. Your attendance could be set, set to per day wise attendance or per subject attendance. If you set it to per day wise attendance, the kind of attendance report you are going to be getting on the student profile or for the school will be attendance per day, you know, as the children attend per day. But if you set the default to subject wise, the report, the attendance you'll be able to view will be attendance per subject that is as teachers come into the class teach a subject the attendance is marked for that subject so again uh, i just want you to know what i'm trying to talk about here what i'm saying here only affects basically the report the view the attendance view but it is something the admin must set for the school before other users maybe teachers Begin to match mark attendance. So for this particular case, it is set to per day wise attendance, and uh, you update that. That is settings. Of course, settings is not a place where you go every time. Admin does it once in a while, or perhaps maybe in the beginning of the term, just to set everybody on the right track. So I head on to the attendance module here. Attendance module. There are three things that you can mark attendance for student. You can mark attendance for teacher. Yes. And you can also mark attendance for other users other users on the platform you know i said in the beginning of the tutorials i think i like you to create several categories of of uh, of users as much as many as you can let me click on this one which is almost of course most of the times of the biggest concern to us but teachers are also very important let me mark attendance don't mind me <laughs> okay so i head on to this you of course you have two slabs here you can mark attendance per subject you can mark attendance per class i'm going to be concerned basically with marking attendance marking class attendance and if you wish to view attendance that is already marked so don't think there is no attendance there is attendance let's see attendance profiles that has already been marked there are two ways of viewing attendance profile you can view attendance profile of a child right from this portion here right from this interface or you can go right into the profile of each student let me see what i have here for this particular child you know that button there is view did you see it okay you didn't see it let me show you let me show you let me show you clara right you see it view view attendance that's what i'm saying okay so i view attendance i want to view attendance profile that, that is already marked for that child okay you see it no, don't know. you see it attendance from from the beginning of the session to the end session begins by september and ends by august that's what we have set in settings if you check okay and for this particular month of course this system is blank it's demo too so on a good day and you look at if you look at it you see w w means weekend n a means uh, not yet marked while a means absent p means present okay you can see that for the few attendance dates that we have marked 
on the 23rd of January absent this particular child was absent 24th and 25th present present so that was by the way let me go back to how to mark the attendance really so I click on class attendance as I have said and then I have a short form here to fill I select the class in question the class I want to uh, mark attendance for and I also select the class and I select the date so it's important select the date let me begin from uh, one date here maybe 7th of January mm, yes yeah, school resumed that year okay 7th of January and I mark I click on mark attendance of course with thinking you can try many things don't limit yourself to what I'm saying you can test out a lot of things you see the things that are allowed and the reasons why they are allowed you see the ones that are not allowed and the reasons perhaps why they aren't allowed but if you have any questions you have any uh, uh, questions at all just drop your comment in the comment box below I hope you have subscribed click the red button and subscribe to our YouTube video and other videos that will be, that will be released concerning Think Ally and or you can just send us a mail at info at thinkally.net this is the attendance for present or absent for each child so let me mark present present this is them also not everybody will be present in the school oh well i like it when everyone is present it makes the children sound okay so that is it i click submit that is how if i were the class teacher of course the teacher logs in and sees the same thing this what we are seeing sees the children in his or her class that is for that date I could select another date and mark again yes I can select another date and mark again I want everybody to be present this amount present present I submit submit a success I pick another date yes I can another date that's a Wednesday and uh, like that so it, it loads What's the problem there? What is the problem? I want to pick another date. Why is it not going? 9th of January. Okay, yes. Present, 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 present. Mm, okay, that's it. Okay. So that is it. That is it. I want to check, if I want to check the class attendance of course what i do is head on to report and look for attendance report seat attendance report attendance report uh attendance type present for that class maybe i should have done attendance overview let me look at attendance overview well, it will give me a broader view because that one is restricting me saying I should pick present or absent. I want a broad overview. Student attendance for which class? For this class, uh, for section basic. That same section user. Well, that's if I want to view for per, per child. I don't want per child. I want for the whole class. So for which month? Uh, for, for January. That is broader. It's going to show me the whole attendance for the month. Wow, great see look at what i just marked i just marked seventh eighth and night see present p means present and right here is showing how many holidays how many weekends how many present uh how many other well, i don't know what but if we check the key l and all of that a lot can be done with this a lot can be done you can print your attendance sheet you can print preview you can download in excel file and you can send to email it exciting I, I, I don't know if you get this point very well but it's very the same process is what we are going to do if we want to mark teachers attendance or other users attendance you can mark teachers attendance of course with the system you know if you want to do that you just add teacher attendance again uh, yes teacher attendance you select the date all you need to do is select the date select the date and there you go teacher attendance it shows you all the teachers in the school wow great so i mark 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 oh that's done and i can also select another date uh 
uh, yes another date mark 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 this one is uh, let me pick absent there submit that is it again if you want to check the attendance but head on to head on to report you see attendance report and uh, you click no no it should be attendance overview that one gives me a broader if i stay with the other one it restricts me but i select teacher uh which of the teachers i don't know but i want all i'm gonna i'm not going to specify i want all of them for which month or which month for january okay what do i have i have the attendance for the whole month for every teacher wow that is great thank you very much for joining in in this tutorial in the next tutorial which is tutorial 14 we're going to be looking at how to compute exams well getting interested in exams Ooh, i'm going to be showing you how to compute exams how to mark uh record marks how to grade and all of that a whole lot of that thank you very much again my name is david and i'm going to see you in the next tutorial thank you